Hello, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor and today we're doing TBR prompts pick my October TBR. But before we hop in the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you love all things books. So I've got some of the spooky vibes going with the men, the stars, earrings, and then my twitches. Necklace, if you know the movie or if you like the movie, this is a twitches sort of recreation necklace and we're in the fall vibes. I do plan on doing some fall book shopping so what's on my TBR will definitely expand but yeah so we're gonna do like I always do I'm gonna choose five prompts from here and then I'm going to go over to my physical TBR and then I'm gonna look at my Kindle TBR and then we're gonna decide the books that best fit that. I mean usually I try to do a split of like three physical books two Kindle books so we'll see if we fit that didn't quite work out last month but we'll see. I've read almost every book except for Blood Marked. I am over halfway through that. And it's September 28th, so I think I'll probably finish it between now and then. Mainly just because um, internet's out. Can't really watch TV right now due to the storm and everything that's going on. But let's pull out the five prompts. So prompt number one is Out of Comfort Zone Read. So this could be anything that's not any of the normal genres that I read, which are romance, fantasy, and non-fiction. So could be a horror, could be a mystery thriller, all of which are good, uh, good picks and genres for the month. We'll see what the next one is. Pick up a DNF. Okay, I have two in mind that I could do for this. Um, one is definitely on my shelf that I got like two chapters into, so this prompt decided to jump shift with the other one, so over 500 pages. Oh, okay. I don't know how many books I have over 500 pages left on my TBR because I'm reading Blood Marks, so we'll see. That one might be a, a Kindle, a Kindle pickup. Then we have pick up a romance. So, I mean, that's good. We love a little fall romance. I am planning to buy a couple romances in the month of October. Preferably Daydream, Business Casual. Those are on my list to read. And then there's a vampire romance. I can't remember what it's the name of, but it's the sequel to My Roommate is a Vampire. So, I don't know. We'll see. And then the last one that we're going to be looking at today is Oldest Copyright. So, the book that was published the oldest. So it's going to be one of the 39 clues or infinity ring. Well, it's th yeah. One of the 39 clues or infinity ring books, uh, or Anna dressed in blood. I think that was 2010. So I'll have to look that up on good read, not good reads on. Um, I'm going to have to look that up on Storygraph to see. So let's hop over to my physical TBR and look. All right, so this is the physical TBR right now. Here's the current and want to read soon pile of books. So I went ahead and I checked and the oldest copyright I have on here is Anna Dressed in Blood by Kinder Kindari Blake. This is a YA horror mystery novel and it was published in 2011. I checked all of the other, um, I checked all of these and these and all of them were 2012 and after, but that one was 2011. And then pick up another DN or pick up a DNF, New Adult by Timothy Janowski. This is a time traveling 13 going on 30 queer romance. Like I said, I got about two chapters into it, and then I just DNF'd it because I was in the middle of a reading slump. So there's that. And then we have a romance and out of comfort zone read. So if I want to do two books on my Kindle, I know for a fact I think the 500 page book is going to have to come from my Kindle. Let me see this one. Yeah, because this one over here is under 500 pages and I don't think any of these else. Actually, let me see. And this is under 400 pages. So let's see. Let's see. Should I pick a romance or out of comfort zone read? I think I'm going to pick... How to Kill Men and Get Away With It um, by Katie Brandt, just because it's a thriller and I've been wanting to read it and I just think the title and everything sounds good for the month of September. Not September. I think it just sounds good for the month of October. All right, so we have left for me to find a romance and a book over 500 pages. So I think 
I need to check this to see if it's over 500 pages. It is. So Phantasma, a dark fantasy romance by Kaylee Smith. I've seen this all over like my, um, I've seen this all over my For You page because I think it either just came out or just got like republished, like traditionally published. So I'm going to add that. And then I have a lot of romances I can choose from. I'm just curious to see what's, what's, what is on the, the docket for this week. I could choose something new like Wicked Serve by Grace Riley or The Pussy Next Door by Amy Award. All of those sound good. Years in Amsterdam by Raina Starlet also sounds good. I'm currently in the middle of reading Flawless by Elsie Silver, so I could pick the next book in the series. Um, we have Most Ardently by Gabe Nicole Novoa, possibly. Um, Hot for a Teacher by Monique Fisher. Team Players by Deanna Gray. We have The Mistake, L. Kennedy, and then Only for the Week by Natasha Bishop. So I have all of these as options. I think just because this would finish out the series for me, I'm going to choose Wicked Serve by Grace Riley. And I'll call that my five books for the month. So let's go over them. So first book, the one that is the oldest copyright on my shelf is Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendare Blake. This is a YA horror fantasy. Uh, I know it's very ghosty. Yes, so our main character, Kaz, is searching for the ghost, Anna, dressed in blood, the infamous ghost. So there's going to be horror, there's going to be mystery, I don't think there's going to be any romance, but we'll see. But that is the oldest copyright, and this was published in 2011, so we've got a good 13 years in between now and then. And then for the one where I pick up a DNF, this is New Adult by Timothy Janowski. I'm about two chapters into it, so I got, I stopped reading it mainly because I was in a reading slump, and also... Time travel in most anything just kind of turns me off. And I kind of bought this without, you know, realizing it. So we'll see how I get along with that. But it's a 13 going on 30 queer retelling following a comedian who is in love with his roommate at the age of 23, but he's currently struggling with his career and everything and doesn't want to make any moves or do anything, you know, to initiate that. And then he makes a wish on some gems and I guess he flash forwards to when he's in his 30s and his career is flourishing but you know things have gone downhill in other aspects of his life. Then for my out of comfort zone read we have How to Kill Men and Get Away with It by Katie Brent. At the back it says meet Kitty Collins, friend, lover, killer. He was following me, that guy from the nightclub who wouldn't leave me alone. I hadn't intended to kill him of course but I wasn't sorry when I did and despite the mess I made it I made. I appeared to get away with it. That's where my addi addiction started. I've got a taste for revenge, and quite frankly, I'm killing it. And the review says a deliciously dark, hilariously twisted story about friendship, love, and murder. So, out of comfort zone read because I don't usually read mystery thrillers. I mean, I think I have two completed ones on my shelf if I'm looking correctly. So, this will just be a new one to add, and it's perfect for the fall season. And then we have my Kindle Reads for the month, which is the book that's over 500 pages, and this came up as 513 pages on Kindle, and that is Phantasma by Kaylee Smith. This is a dark romanticy, dark fantasy that I've been seeing pop up everywhere. I'm not quite sure what it's about. As far as I know, I think it's about a girl who enters a, a trial, and there's a lot of trials, and a mysterious man that she has to, like you know, make a deal with, even though she doesn't want to make a deal with, and things ensue from there. So we'll see how I get along with that. And then lastly, for my romance book, that is Wicked Serve by Grace Larley. This is the last book in her, I'm not quite sure the series, but this is the last book in her, like, series with all the brothers who play sports and this is following the youngest daughter who had a summer fling with her brother's rival on her like her brother's rival but then this rival moves to campus and joins her brother's team and you know they flames reignite even though they really shouldn't and I'm very excited to see this one because I saw the author Grace Riley using Taylor Swift's wildest dreams to like describe the couple and I'm like I mean say less say less and then obviously in the month of October, I'm going to try and pick up some more spooky seasonal reads. So I will keep you updated on that. But let me know what you're going to be reading in the month of October. What's on that spooky season, you know, TBR list. And what would you like me to do next?